Welcome back to the channel. Back with Devin. Drew's behind the camera. We're gonna go over the build. We're all wrapped up. Last time you saw it, we had it running. He's in his riding gear, and we're gonna do ride height. And then we're gonna explain the front end on what some of the settings are, camber, cast, or tow. See if we can't explain it to you and uh, make it easier to understand. left and right with the to lock the lock all right go back straight bounce up and down a couple times okay all right and the cardboard is just because you're yeah so we're using the cardboard exactly because you need the wheels to scrub out you know when i'm getting hung up in the on this particular rubber the yeah so you want it just to be able to move. If you're on a flat surface, that's not required. You don't want to use anything too thick. If you do, you need to compensate that with your measurement. Here, the cardboard's so thin, it, it's not a big deal. Now that we've scrubbed out the front and he's bounced up and down and he's in attack position, we're gonna take a measurement from below where the foot peg is. So in this case, we're at seven and an eighth. And then we're gonna move up approximately 16 inches forward. You wanna be before the A arm, and we're about seven and seven eighths. So we wanna drop the front down. You mean behind the A arm? Yeah, I wanna be behind the A arm on the frame, level part of the frame. So approximately where the engine mount is, right. six o'clock from the engine mount. So we're at seven and seven eighths. So we're gonna to need to lower the front. So next step is, I'm gonna have you hop off. And I need to loosen the pinch bolts on the front preload ring. Okay, why don't you hop back on. We gotta do the same thing. We gotta scrub the front again and then do the bounce and all that. So go lock to lock. Okay, bounce. Okay, we gotta continue to go down, hop off. This is setting the ride height. And sometimes... And you have a formula you're looking for a certain height? You, you generally want to be a quarter of an inch higher. You want a quarter of an inch higher slope from back to front. So that's that's what we're looking for here. I'm looking for... We're at seven and an eighth in the back, which isn't horrible. I want to see somewhere around seven and a quarter, maybe a hair over that. Um, keep in mind too that when you're doing this or before you're doing this you want check air in your tires and you want to make sure that the air is what you're going to be running so if this is 10 this is 10 and that's six you want to make sure uh, to take it one step further you want to measure the tire diameter all the way around and make sure that the tires are the same diameter a lot of times they're not so you may have to add air to get them to stretch. And you gotta do that back and forth a few times, but you wanna try to get your overall dimension the same, then get your air pressure the same, and then, then you start this whole process. All right, left to right, all the way. Okay, bounce. Okay. Okay, so what can happen a lot of times too is we were good in the back at seven and an eighth, 
but we were high in the front. Now we lowered the front and ended up making the whole thing lower. So now we're at just below seven and a quarter and we're at six and seven eighths. So I need to pick the front end back up a little bit and we're probably going to be right on. We might have to touch the back. All right, hop off. Okay, let's do this again. Sit on it. Left to right. Okay, bounce. Okay. We just need just a little more. Okay, hop off. It is. It's sometimes they go quicker than that. Up on. But this isn't anything out of the ordinary. Plus, they weren't left or right. They weren't crazy far off to begin with. Bounce. Okay. So we are just a hair under seven and we're a seven and a quarter. So we're just gonna lock everything down. All right, we just got done setting up the ride height. Wanna go over that we had to make a relocation bracket for the rear shock. Normally it gets mounted on the left-hand side of the grab bar, but we made a plate to mount it up into the center and it'll be out of harm's way. That looks great. Yeah. And with the bumper there to protect it too. Yeah, yep. nice, nice. So next we're gonna talk about the science of the front end and explain it to you. And we'll go over the camber caster and the toe. Okay, so camber is the way the tire is tipped in or out. Tipped in is negative, tipped out is positive. Generally want to be somewhere either zero or 0 0.1 degree tipped in. Um, try to keep it, you know, near zero. Um, next is caster. So Drew, why don't you come over the top? Caster is the relationship of the upper A arm to the lower A arm. The farther back is positive, the farther forward from neutral is negative. And going positive makes it more stable, and going negative will make it twitchy, but it will steer easier. So it's trying to find that balance of what the rider likes. You know, so it's hard to say what the perfect number is generally starting somewhere around seven degrees and then going forward or back from there so stock a arms generally don't have any adjustment but most aftermarkets do in this case the walsh has two adjustable himes and if you were to adjust one at a time it's going to affect caster if you do them both it's going to do camber and you have to do a little of each in order to achieve what you're looking for. And then final is the toe. So you want to step back. Toe is the relationship of the tires tipped in or out. Generally you want to be zero to just about a total toe of a quarter out. And these measurements are all done at ride height. Got the thing 
set up, what are we gonna go do with it? Are you actually gonna rip it up and down the road? Yeah, we gotta, yeah, we're gonna have to because I wanna, I gotta basically make sure it shifts and check the brakes and stuff like that before I get handed off to them. Everything's glad, ready to ride? Yeah, everything is ready to ride. It's just a matter of uh, doing it. I wasn't able to do it yesterday, so I'm going to be the test dummy. All right. Well, I, I put this, uh, you know, machine together, so I got to be the one. There's some snow outside, so you dress warm. Yeah, I'm definitely going to dress warm. I just want to let this thing warm up. Yeah. Can't even get on it. Oh my god! I mean, every time I tried to get on it, it just—you just fishtailed it like. I didn't want to die. <laughs> oh my god! Dude. That thing just sounds ridiculous. Oh, it steers good. It handles good. You know what I mean? Like it. Yeah. You can tell that. It doesn't want to pull one way or the other. No. Well, by torque. Like well, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. But no, it, it goes down the road good. All right, we're wrapping up this build again with Drew behind the camera and Devin. It's been a fun project. Um, hopefully it does well this uh, summer. Looking forward to seeing Devin do really good on it. And we're going we're gonna to go to a, a track and film. Yep. Yeah. And it, we're not quite done with the project, but it's getting really close. Stay tuned for Devin. I'm going to do an, uh, a test ride in an upcoming video. Thank you for watching.